Okay, so basically what's happening here is we're putting in a, a standoff framework for an interior sound, uh, sound absorbing wall. And pretty simple stuff. It's a 2x4 with Tapcon screws. And then we're going to be adding this, this foam insulation and then they put decorative cloth over that. So we'll show how that looks when it's all said and done. But it is a little bit tricky to get those screws to grab on this old clay brick. That's a red clay brick. When it's 100 years old, it's pretty brittle. And so sometimes you still got to use screw anchors. You got to be a little creative on each individual one to get everything to stay. And it's not always going to grab, but the trick is that we're not attaching that foam directly to this stuff. It's a floating wall. It's a very lightweight floating wall. So if not all the screws grab you're okay because the boards are obviously structural and we'll show uh, more on that in the next segment so basically this is the stuff as it was getting trimmed they were just knife trimming it. Um, it it does get this stuff around you can hot knife trim it or even saw cut this stuff it's, uh, it's obviously not hard to cut its foam right so what we're doing what these guys have been doing, I, I put up the carpentry with the stuff on the brick wall. Uh, most of this, all this stuff is getting handled in house. They've got, they chose a cloth from a design place. They got this stuff. And with the cloth chosen from, um, you know, uh, uh, a cloth place. And then the, these things are laid out. The cloth is stapled to the backs. So we'll show that process in another segment. And then with lag bolts and washers, these, these get tied up on the wall. Now, part of this was to clear some stuff along the floor. And, you know, if there was water, if somebody's mopping, these things go up off the floor. So it's a floating wall. It's an insulated floating wall. And if you notice a little difference in the pitch of my voice in here since the last segment, you'll notice that's that's because we we don't quite have the same echo in here so you get a little better sound quality with the uh, the non sound reflective walls and it gives you the opportunity to to restyle walls without having to go through all the trouble of painting irregular surfaces okay so here in this meeting room we can see how these things go a little bit of an echo because of the way the glass works and the ceiling works but we're reducing that by putting this stuff here and the color works pretty well with the screens and so here you can see the lag bolts pretty wide washers so stuff doesn't pull through the foam and then these panels were just stapled on and you can see they had a little bit of issue with it going tall but it just about fits otherwise you trim them down but they'll, uh, they'll just get lag bolted onto the walls and that's how that goes.